folks, happy Labor Day weekend. Hope everyone is doing well for the most part. Um, this is Cracker321, boom, welcome to my channel. Um, I don't react to many TikTok videos or actually even Twitter videos, but um, I found this video on Twitter, which by the way has a lot of good videos on various topics. This happened in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, a bunch of employees at a Dunkin' Donuts just walked out. They just got fed up. They got tired. Um, the wages are not sustainable. And um, this is happening across the country. Um, people are tired. I see it on Twitter. I see it on um, TikTok, um, people are really tired, I mean, I'm tired myself, I mean, I'm sitting here Sunday afternoon, I'm making this video because I can relate, and literally, I'm broke, so it's really, really hard right now, and this whole year, 2023, has not been easy. Um, in the beginning of this year, I lost a job. Luckily, I obtained another one, and I'm grateful for that. But even working 40 hours a week, you're basically struggling. Everything has gone up. Rent. Food prices are ridiculous. Um... You go and buy a couple of items from the grocery store today, you can easily spend 20 bucks. And it's like, what did you get? You know, um, if you have a car, gas prices, four, almost five dollars a gallon. I don't even know how people do it. No wonder bicycle sales, at, at least where I'm at, have gone through the roof. No surprise. So, without further ado, uh, let's check this video out. It's called, I'm um, Dunkin' Workers in Atlanta, Walk Out on a Strike, and hit play. We just walked out and delivered a strike notice to Dunkin' Donuts. The reason why I just walked out is because it's the beginning of Dragon Con. It was already a busy morning, and it's going to get more busier today. Donuts is going to make a lot of money. They're going to make hundreds, thousands of dollars today. They don't want to give us workers any type of raise or bonus for working this weekend. And it's just not fair to the workers. We've had enough. We're walking out and let them handle the rest of it. But we're, we're not going to just stand there and work for them all day like that. If they don't want to give us the money for it, we deserve the money. People that are working in the same building as us making $20 an hour just to work for Dragon Con, we're not getting anything extra. So we walked out. There you go. Um, I don't know offhand what Dragon Con is. I'm assuming maybe it's a video game convention, like they have comic book conventions. Um, anyone who sees this video, let me know. But you can hear the frustration. Um, I know today I was out with um, my baby's mom, and um, I got her something from Duncan, and it was literally almost $7. And it was a small. So I'm like... You're charging between five to eight dollars just for a drink. A donut, I guess, is a dollar fifty, maybe two bucks now. And you don't want to pay people a decent wage. And we're talking about people that are not only working in the food drink industry, you're dealing with um customer service demand you're dealing with keeping the place clean you're dealing with throwing out the garbage you're dealing with bringing deliveries inside in the morning once they're delivered it's it's just a joke it really is i can understand people's frustration um I've said this in other videos, I just work in security. And I've been doing this since 9-11, um, uh, soon after that. And it's like, 
I'm working in the banking industry right now, primarily one bank. Tomorrow I'm working. It's Labor Day. You watch people come and go, going inside the ATM, taking out, you know, quite a large sum of money, more than I have, more than a lot of people have. You deal with disrespectful people. You're trying to keep them safe at the expense of your own safety. No one cares. You're dealing with an area where you have people on drugs, people that are homeless, people that are mentally challenged. And the saddest part about it all is where's the where's the respect you know and um i'm tired myself i really am um i have a daughter as i said in previous videos and it's like i'm i'm not even making 20 dollars an hour i'm making a little over 19 but is that sustaining me I mean, really? I mean, a lot of you see the back of this room. Okay, well, basically, you're seeing a large part of my apartment slash room. Basically, what's right ahead of me, what you don't see, I got one window. Over here going down, there's shelves for my food. A TV there. On this side, there's one closet. Before that, there's a fridge. And right over here is my one three-drawer chest for clothes. And right here is my bed. There you go. So it's like people are tired. Wages are not going up. It's a joke. Um, in this, in New York, I don't believe you have any politician that cares. You got migrants that can come over. From what I've seen in videos, 2200 a month to start, maybe more. Cell phone, um, food stamp card, EBT. Um, coverage and yet I'm working but I'm considered to make too much money to be eligible for any type of help but my tax dollars along with everyone else is paying for everybody else the system is broken um, that's my reaction. This is Cracker321. Boom. Um, you're a subscriber. Hit the bell icon. Um, select all. It'll let you know when new videos are uploaded like this one. If by some chance you're new to the channel um, and you're on YouTube, definitely subscribe. Like a video. It does help my channel. I've said this before. For some reason on YouTube, my videos are not being picked up. I'm sure many people don't even know I'm still making videos. I am on TikTok as well. I list all my social medias in every video I do. And um, thank you. And happy Labor Day. Um, hopefully yours is going better than mine. Peace.